So can you somebody give me an example of a word problem? Because that's when I came here today. I'm going to try to show you some easy ways to solve word problems. But first, I don't, you have to tell me, like, what's an example of a word problem you might have to solve? Yeah. I have 25 cents, and Alexander has um, six cents left. How many, how much does, um, how much money do we have all together? Okay, and that's kind of very similar. Those plus. Six cents, oh, six cents less. Yeah. Six less. Oh, that's a great problem. Hold on. Does this make sense that this is a good picture, this bar that, that I made here for William for 25 cents? Um, yeah. Now, if I wanted to make a bar, would I, another bar for Alexander, would I make it the same size, bigger, or smaller? Smaller. Um, Raising our hand. Yes, sir. Smaller. I would make it smaller, and, and so I would make another bar here, right? And how much less would this be, did you say here? S say six. Six, six cents less. Cents less. Does that make sense, that picture? So this is, what's this a picture of? This is a picture, and who's, whose money is this? This is? Williams. Williams. How about I want to snap my fingers, you tell me. This is? Williams. Good. And Alexander, who's, who's, how much less is this money? This is? Six cents. Six cents less. And what's the question, though? Now, what's the question that, that William asked? The question, because he asked a great question. He asked, yeah. Uh, if someone has, if William has 25 cents and Alexander has six, has six cents, what? And let me show you how I'm going to make that picture. This means all together. Does that make sense? So I have William is one bar. Alexander is a smaller bar, right? I know this one is six cents less. How would I figure out how much there are all together in this then? How would I figure out? Um, yeah. Subtract. I, does that make sense? I have to subtract six cents from this one to figure out how big this bar is? How many? Let's do that in our heads real quick. 25 cents. Minus six cents, don't call it out. Do that in your head really fast. I bet you can all do this in your head. I bet you can all do this in your head. Whisper it to the person next to you. All right, ready? When I snap my fingers, tell me it's... 19 cents! So it's the 19 cents. I apologize for my sloppy writing. 19 cents. So anybody want to tell me quickly how you did it? Yes? 25, 7.5, Good. 20, Good. 20, Excellent. Excellent problem. Okay. So now I know that this bar is 19 cents and this bar is, William's bar is 25 cents. Have I answered the question yet? No. What's the question ask us? Again, heads up, heads up over here. What's the question? What question do we want to know? How many cents left? How? Well, we knew, yeah, that was the first part. But what's How many the cents all together? There you go. That's the question mark here. Oops, you can't see that. How much all together? When I snap my fingers, how much all together? When I snap my fingers, everybody got an answer on the tip of the tongue? You have, a tip, you have the answer? You can do this here. How much is here? How much is here? 25, and I'm adding 19. What's an easier number to add than 19? Is it easier to add 20? Can you add 20 to 25? How much would that be? 20 to 25 would be 45, and now I have to take away I have to take away 19 is how much less than 20? It's just one away, right. So I have to take one away from 40, from 45. One less than 45 is when I snap my fingers. 44! So the answer is 44. So do you see how drawing the picture can help you solve the problem? I'm going to see how, I'm going to give you some really, I'm going to give you like some fifth grade. Because you know what? In another week or two, you're going to be fifth grade.